So I came in this afternoon and my neighbor decided to leave another present out in the yard. And again, this one went through a monsoon. But uh, it is a 27 inch Emerson Silver Plastic Crap Air Television. It's a 27 inch flat tube. Looks like it's got a pretty good amount of hours on it. I uh, took the back off of it, did a little inspection of the chassis. Um, everything looks okay. There's two spots on the chassis where it looks like it's been getting pretty toasty, but nothing's actually burnt. So, and as you can see, it works. Add a little light on the situation, wouldn't it? So like I said, it's a 27 inch Emerson. I guess it was one of the higher end Emersons of its time. Uh, it was made January of 04. It has front composite video input, rear composite video input, S video input, component input, and it also has left and right uh, analog audio output if you wanted to dump it to a receiver. So I've got it hooked up on the antenna here. Just flipping through the channels. And I guess it's a pretty decent picture. I don't know who made it. I haven't assumed. I would assume Funai made it. Unfortunately, when I had the back off of it, there is no sticker attached to the CRT. So, who actually made it, I don't really know. Um, I'll look at the sticker again on the back for the model number for the description and maybe it'll be on there so boy I have too many duplicate channels didn't include the remote but I have plenty of universal remotes it is a stereo set It's the Florida Channel. Super blurry church chat. Uh, I guess it's still got a pretty good image for its age. It's what, an 11 year old TV? Oh yeah, the World Series is on tonight. Oh well, the Cubbies aren't in it, so I'm not interested. And I'm not even a Cubby fan. I was just hoping they'd win so Back to the Future 2 would come true. <laughs> oh. So people are up dancing before the sun goes down. And they stayed there. So yeah, my neighbors, I guess, are all loaded. Because they just toss shit out in the yard. TVs, lots of tube TVs, good gaming or uh, good uh, TV stands, perfectly good condition. <laughs> I may go back and mess around with the G2 control, turn it down a little bit. But I think it's probably best just to leave it alone. Just a good looking pen And any barmaid can be a star maid If she dances with a crappy digital TV Hooray for Hollywood Where you're terrific if you're even good Got pretty decent speakers in it I guess 
Oh, shield spoilers, gotta change channel. Uh -uh. But anyway, that's another silver plastic crap TV saved. Nothing wrong with it. It's got all the good hookups for the older retro consoles. So I'll stick it in a corner somewhere and hook something up to it, I guess. Uh, I was going to do a repair video on the TV right there. It's a 25-inch Panasonic. Unfortunately, the gentleman I had it got it from, he used it on an outdoor porch. And down here where I live in the salt air, you can only guess what happened to this uh, chassis. The chassis is completely corroded. All of the jumper pins, connections, solder joints, everything is just completely corroded to hell. So It's got a good CRT in it, but matter of fact, it's a low hour CRT because they only use it on vacations. But, because it was in the salt air all the time, it's basically root. <clears throat> So anyways, zoom out, damn it, there we go. Boy, they love to compress the hell out of the sub-channels on some of these stations. And I mean compress the hell out of them. Well, okay. Anyway, I guess that's another one saved from the landfill for a while until it blows up. And then it'll get EOL'd as well.
So yeah, it's a pretty decent set for play the old school shit on. <clears throat> you know, some people crap on the SNES Mini there because it doesn't have S video, it doesn't have a uh, uh, component out or RGB out, RGB SCART. But I will say this for it: I have five Super Nintendos, uh, four fatties in this one here, and of all of them, this has the best composite video output of any of them. So nothing really to hate on about it, especially if you want to use it for one of these type of TVs. All right, so here's a real back RF component, component input for our audio for the input, component input, S video, composite. Uh, over here you have audio out, you know, your standard shit from, I'd say, a middle of the line, if that, uh, silver plastic turd TV. There's the uh, sticker on it. It's a EW2704, January of 2004, uh, build date. So that's that.